Testing, one, two, three. Because I want to make everyone know that um, of what my struggles are in the eyes of a 20-year-old uh, man with autism trying to support himself without his biggest advocate. Why do you think it's important to share that story? Because I want everyone to know that, you know, everyone's life is not perfect. And, you know, it's not like how you see on social or TV because those are just fairy tales. You know, this is reality. You know, people got to understand, you know, the real lame like, you know, what he does, how, what he struggles with. Dear mom, I can't believe it's been two years since you've been gone. Not a day goes by where I don't think about you and miss you. Man, if you were here right now, you'd be so proud of the things I'm doing. I'm now in my first year of a broadcasting and television program. It's so different than high school. I get to work on some fun group projects and learn about the film and television industry. The professors at college are very nice too. And I told them about my autism and learning disability, and it didn't seem like a big deal to them. Some kids from college even asked me to hang out with them, but they drink alcohol and smoke cigarettes. And I'm like, no way, man. So in the, in the, uh, oh, great. Can you all see me on camera? Oh, we can see you. What am I doing now? Land in your hand. You're putting your hand on your head. What am I doing now? Land You're putting your hand in your pocket. <laughs> I kind of have to support myself now. So I went and got myself a job. I am working at a movie theater. They don't let me work the popcorn, and I'm basically stuck taking tickets or cleaning the theater or bathroom, which is extremely gross. The only good thing about working at a movie theater is the free movie tickets. For a guy like me who loves the movies, that's a pretty big win. Hey, Lemo, can you take my closing floor shift? I don't know about that. Come on, Lemo, please. I'll pay you $20 if you close tonight. I'm sorry, but the answer is no. You suck. The paycheck isn't great, but it does help so I can treat myself a little here and there. And I also treat Beef Stew once in a while because she's not old enough to have a job yet. I got her some clothes and I give her bus fare when she needs it. Even though we don't always get along, I try to be a good older brother. <laughs> I was sleeping like this. Yeah. I was just dreaming, and then I had my hands out like this when, when I was sleeping. The other day, I went to the premiere of Wakanda Forever, and the strangest thing happened to me. I woke up in the morning with my arms across my chest, saying, I, I didn't yell Wakanda Forever, but I'm like, oh man, Wakanda Forever. <sighs> huh? Oh, Wakanda Forever? Whoa, kind of forever, eh? It took me a while to realize it was just a dream. I guess that's what's so special about movies. They can make you believe anything, even if the world sucks most of the time. Speaking of Black Panthers, well, kind of, we got a cat, Tiger. He is such an adorable cat. He seems to like me more than Beef do, because he always comes into my room and jumps on my bed when I'm asleep. Remember when I told you I met this other lonely kid in grade 10 and you met him and you thought he was very nice? Michael is very special to me. He's there for me when I need him and does his best to support me when I'm at my lowest. Yeah! Lately, I've also been spending time with someone else, even though Michael is still my best bro. Olivia is a new friend of mine. She also has autism and we go to the movies sometimes. Olivia is very beautiful and sweet and kind. Amita thinks I might have a crush on her, but I don't know. It's complicated, and I'm going to wait at least two more years before I ask her out.
Amit is a good friend, and we talk about just about everything almost every day. She works in the industry, and she hired her friend Jelani to take my headshot. But the thing about acting is it's really hard to be a working actor. You have to do these self tapes that Amita helps me with on Zoom. Hi, I'm Leo Muhammad. Hi, I'm Leo Muhammad. Hi, I'm Leo Muhammad. But it's really hard to understand the character sometimes and imagine the scene and the eye line, like where you're supposed to be looking. I am represented by AMI agency and I am on the autism spectrum. Even though the industry is trying to be more open to people with disabilities, I still don't think they get how hard things like self-tapes can be for people like me. And they gotta know that if a role says it's for a person with any ability, like I'm not gonna come off as someone neurotypical because I don't know what that's like to think like that. I don't think they understand that. Hey, retard, try to get us. Leave me alone. Watch out, mental kid on the loose. Hey kid, you need to calm down. Get out of my way, I'm gonna kill them. If you don't calm down, I will be forced to call someone. Get out of my way. <laughs> they wanted to arrest me. But then you came in telling the cop that I have autism and it wasn't my fault. And these kids were bullying me and giving me a hard time. Sometimes I feel like I can't win in this world. Like it's just so frustrating when everyone is against you and nobody is listening. What are you supposed to do? You can't retaliate. I learned that the hard way so many times. It's still so hard to not react and just keep quiet. I feel like I'm gonna explode. Stop right there. Empty out your pockets. Excuse me? You blacks always come in here always up to no good. Sir, I don't know what you are talking about, but you are being very racist and cruel. You shouldn't judge a person by the color of their skin. Show me what you stole right now, or I will call the police, you thug. I don't know. I feel like, you know, with George Floyd and everything, anything could happen to me, even if I'm completely innocent and don't react. When bullies or hateful people call the cops on me for no reason, the cops tell me that I'm on a short leash, and I see the cops looking at me on the street, and sometimes it just creeps me out. Okay. Yeah, I can do it. It's gonna hurt, but let's just do it. I see you, how can I help you? Hi, it's Flamo. I'm just calling about my mom again. Okay, can I have her name? Sure, it's Bantu Abdullahi. She's been there about a month. Okay, hold please, I'll check. Hi, I'm sorry, she passed away last night. What? I'm sorry. She's dead? She's dead? Every day I still keep pushing myself to go forward and try to be successful and accomplish my goal. I miss you to death like you were everything to me. You were my biggest supporter and it sucks how COVID had to take you away from me. But there's something that if I told you would probably shock you. Like you wouldn't even believe it. I went to my high school prom. Gonna go chill, uh, hang out with a few friends, you know, the works, probably not gonna stay for long. And you see, I, I shaved off the old cookie duster, my beard, so I look ready. Just gotta comb the old hair and yeah, I'm so freaking nervous. Don't have a date, but oh well. As you know, I never danced with a girl before. So my friend Amita did a quick lesson for me. 
I dressed up in a suit that I got from International Outfitters and some people even said I looked handsome. When I got there, I got to take some pictures with people and believe it or not, I also got to dance with some of my classmates. It just made me so happy. For once, I felt like a normal teenager. Anyway, prom was amazing, but the food wasn't really that great. And you know what else? The Wiggles, that's what else. You always supported me being the number one Wiggles fan, and even though money was tight, you took me to see them in concert five times. You told me that no matter how old I was, if the Wiggles made me feel good, I should keep being their fan. The Wiggles recently did a show in Toronto. They invited me on stage to perform your favorite song, Taba Naba. It really is kind of crazy that all of this is happening without you here by my side. I want you to know that you don't have to worry about me anymore. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to find a way. I have support. I'm learning a lot about myself and my place in this world. I'm figuring it out in my own way. Nobody can ever fill your shoes, but there are people out there doing their best. I promise that I will still continue to be the kind-hearted young man that you raised. 